One dark, rainy night, true story here, I saw a man crawling on the ground in front of me as I was walking to my car after work. It was just beginning to rain and he was on all fours trying to crawl under the shelter of an overhanging building. It was late and it was dark and I wasn't sure what to do. Should I help him or ignore him? As I got closer, I could see he was pretty decrepit and probably homeless. Again, should I help or ignore? I don't want to be unloving, but I don't want to be naive and get myself into a dangerous situation. I decided to keep going and walk on by. At least in my brain, I decided to. My heart and my feet made a different decision, and I found myself stopped right in front of him. I asked, hey, uh, you need any help? And he goes, no, no, I'm okay. Got any cigarettes? I go, no, no, no. He goes, oh, okay, all right. So I did my good deed, but didn't really do anything and wasn't sure what to do next. So we started talking, you know, conversing, interrupted periodically as people walked by. Our conversation wasn't interrupted by the people, but by this homeless guy as he yells out to everyone who passes by asking them for cigarettes. And no one responded once or even looked over. And I could relate. This guy was kind of scary looking and, and, and unsettling. And actually, now that I think about it, maybe it was me, not him. Shucks. Maybe it was me cramping his style. Whatever. I could also relate to the story Jesus told of the Good Samaritan. An expert in the law came to Jesus and asked him, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus asked him, What do you think? The lawyer responded that he should love God with everything and love his neighbor as himself. But then, to follow up, he asked Jesus the question for today. And who exactly is my neighbor? Jesus answered him with the story of a man who was beaten, robbed, and left for dead by the road. A priest passed by him far on the other side. So did an assistant to the priest, also on the other side. It was actually a Samaritan, a group pretty universally hated by the Jews that stopped and helped. Jesus asked the lawyer, which of the three was a neighbor? And that was the real question. Not who is my neighbor, but rather who was the neighbor? Who acted from a place of love and compassion? This is truly, truly revolutionary. According to Jesus, we're not to only help those who belong to our group, our clique, or the people that live next to us. Uh -uh. When Jesus talks about loving our neighbors, he's using an expanded definition that includes those groups for sure, but also every person in need that we come into contact with. Look around. Every day you see people who maybe weren't robbed and left for dead, but nonetheless are people in need. Co-workers, family members, people in line with you at the supermarket, all in need. The question is not, are they your neighbor? The question more truly is, are you theirs? Will you love God by loving 